Yeah, this is the best outro in the game. So the leaks we thought were fake turned out to be real, and Elfeld Valentine has indeed made a gloriously loud comeback to Stride. And she's aight! 5 star ease of use and completely straightforward. Get a speaker and start hitting buttons, just like that like and subscribe button. Now, let's take a dive into Elfeld. Wait a minute. Now her design has changed a lot since Exer, ditching the wedding dress in favor for a more rock and roll aesthetic. And we did lose the Guns N' Roses reference. But the heavy metal rock idol theme is just as good. Might even be better. Except for the no bunny ears. Bring that back. That and Ram Shark She does still have enough weirdness in her design to be considered a Guilty Gear character. I mean, instead of carrying the bouquet of roses, she now carries a marriage certificate that's also a rifle and a microphone. One thing that is the same is her personality. She still wants to marry everyone she sees, especially Nago. And she's also very chat. Her interactions are beautiful, and probably the most work put in a character voice acting wise. That's not in the story at least. Cause she has a taunt specific to every single character, and is high energy for everyone, except for Batman. Nah, I just feel sad. All the VAs did a wonderful job. How do you even make that sound consistent? Especially the... She screams during her super. And speaking of screaming, holy shit, her theme. This is sick. Her theme is a banger. I mean, it's no marionette. There's nothing in Stride that can really match that, except for these ones. Barely. But man, is it good for fighting. The lyrics are weird, but it works. And if you listen to the instrumentals, it still has that marionette rhythm in the background. Not the exact same progression, but it's still there. There's also a portion of the theme that has a bit of Mario Carey's All I Want For Christmas. And it's really fitting because Elfeld's birthday is Christmas. I also really love the contrast the theme has of both cute and adorable and heavy metal. Just like Elfeld. It also has that harmonization thing that I really like in songs like at the end of Vikings theme and Eno's theme. Which really pulls everything together, so as a song and as a fighting game song, it is like an 8 out of 10. And now, for her gameplay, as I said before, she's pretty straightforward. She's not broken like Asuka or Happy Chaos on launch, but she's also not in need of an ER like Sin on launch. These are just first impressions though. It's only the first few weeks, so we're still trying to figure out what's going on. And since she's so different, we can't exactly rely on legacy knowledge. But that doesn't stop anybody from just picking her and start cooking, because gone are the different gun stances and manual reloads and Pineberry trajectory throws. Now it's just Bomb Bomb Chocolate and chain lollipop go brrr. She still has a Bridal Express, kinda, with Miss Charlotte out of repair, but it's not air okay anymore. Her pistol still comes out during her 5H, but she doesn't shoot you multiple times anymore. She just shoots you a second time with a rifle. It also comes out during the overhead and low follow-ups to chain lollipop, and the shotgun comes out during the nailed it ender. She doesn't have roll or pine berry, but she has bomb bomb chocolate that kind of mixes the command movement and the grenade aspect together. It's also really annoying, and I mentioned it before, she does have her new record series called Chain Lollipop that has an overhead follow up, a low follow up, and a dedicated ender. It also has a reset option if you're feeling brave enough. As for the rifle, Miss Charlotte, that's the only one she can shoot out in neutral, and it's air okay too. But there's no manual reload, so there's a gap between shots. The new gimmick here is how the projectile detours and tracks the opponent after a short period. And there are two versions of this projectile, namely the slash and heavy slash version. The heavy slash one detours at a slightly later time than the slash, and it can tell them apart by the pink of the slash version and the blue of the heavy slash version. These could be used in combos that require the projectile to hit at a certain timing, or maybe during the OP, or messing up your opponent's block timing in neutral. She has a command grab super that puts a ring of grenades on you, kind of like Black Dahlia from Skullverse, and you can combo off it too. And of course she has a cinematic invincible reversal super, with a hitbox that's smaller than you think. The basic game plan is, she wants to be close to you so she can mix you and kill you, but if she's far, she has tools to deal with that as well. Not exactly her old war criminal status, especially what everybody got from Smooth Hash. 
Oh yeah, there's a new patch. I'll leave a link to the full patch in the description, but if you're just here for the Cliff Notes version, there you go. All right, to kick it off, the system changes are already huge. For Wild Assault generally, the amount of bursts drain on a hit and block have been drastically reduced and they both drain the same amount. For the three of them specifically though, Orange has more damage scaling and the charge version is much slower. White travels hella far and hella fast. It's still invincible by the way. And Blue, Guard crushes you for much longer, making you double plus. And now for Deflect Shield, I don't know if Arxis watched my video, but it's pretty specific to what I was asking for, because you can't RC through a deflect shield anymore, and the knockback is the same regardless of what attack you deflect. This is bar for bar what I covered in my video, and deflect shield now has real value in the resource economy. Another change is positive bonus. They've shortened the duration, but the tension gain over time has been increased. The burst gain over time is the same, and danger state no longer reduces your tension over time as well. And for a really weird but good change, 2Ks are less likely to trigger clashes now. It's said it's because the character with the fast or sweep always wins the interaction. And now for the character changes. I'm gonna try my best to reduce everything to one sentence per character. For Asuka, they've nerfed Exodia, and you can hit the projectiles now, and they're slower. Nago can DP round start anymore, and the effects of Bite is much faster but shorter. Ram is perfect apparently. Axel is now Rashid of the Wind. Jumping is now illegal when fighting for Temp. Milia and Geo got the same easy input as Happy Chaos. Happy Chaos's charge shot, guard break, and concentration got nerfed. Faust has a better eat mechanic than Sin a new UI. They gave Johnny jump momentum. Testament, Stain State got buffed, and 6H now causes a hard knock. The same is true for Bedman 6H2, and his JD is much faster. Jacko can't troll Axel's JS anymore, and the Ben Command got nerfed. Viking can now combo up her charge throw when tethered. Bridget got more pressure roots, since Tyrant Raid got nerfed. Blocking against Gold Lewis is slightly more hell. May can jump off her dolphin quicker, and axe quicker as well. Leo has less recovery in his fireballs. They nerfed Soul again. They stole Kai's Thunderbird and gave it to Angie and Chip. Zato is still struggling. And Angie can now combo off Nagiha, making him the best character in the game. And that should be all the changes. The game feels pretty good now as it's entered its third year. And it doesn't look like it's gonna slow down anytime soon. I mean, we got two characters coming and a new game mode. Yeah, there's gonna be a 3v3 mode in Strive. We don't know if it's gonna be like KOF or Marvel, but whatever it is, I'd like to know what you guys' teams are gonna be down in the comments. As for me, I'll have Chip Point, Bike in Mid, and Sin as an anchor. And with that, Remember to hit that sub button and happy birthday, Elko.